Hey guys, my name is Morgan Fenter. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in the corner garden and I'm actually really proud of the background. I've got some steaks for my tomatoes and I used some leftover steaks that I was going to use for the butternut, but they seem to be doing better on the ground, so I just use them. Yeah, so quite happy with that. Quite a nice little background. Today's video I'm going to be speaking about two things that kind of correlate with each other. The first thing is the pine needle parts. I've had a few people commenting about the plastic and the pine needles and the acidity and apparently they don't actually release any acidity into the soil. And I googled it, did a bit of research and <laughs> that's actually true. Surprisingly enough, that is actually true. They don't release any acidity into the soil. A lot of people think that you should put it over plants that love acidity or like a little bit more of an acidic soil. That's what I thought as well. Turns out that is not true. So it's basically like a normal little mulch section of like top layer that you can just put on top for any mulching purposes. So you don't need to worry about acidity and all kinds of pH levels and the changing of the pH levels in the soil. So that's the first thing. The second thing is with the plastic. Now, a lot of people are telling me that I can just remove the plastic and just put a huge layer of the pine needles and keep on adding, keep on adding until the grass is killed off and the pine needles like start to decay and it like feeds the soil a little bit as it's decomposing. Now, the main reason I put the black plastic there is because of the weeds and because of the grasses and, and stuff like that. And this is where the second part, like another piece that I want to speak about is going to come in soon. I don't know if I'm going to be here for, me, for very much longer. I don't know if I'm going to be at this exact homestead for very much longer. So I want to try and make the garden as easy to run as possible because my parents are probably going to have to take a little time after work just to make sure the garden is all okay. My sister is at hostel so she's not going to be here for the week. She'll only be here on the weekends. So that's why I've got a lot of drip irrigation so it's easy to just tap on tap off and not having to worry about doing weeding jobs and extra mulch and all kinds of stuff like that. So that's why I have the black plastic there. It's just a 100% guarantee of not having any weeds and any grasses that will eventually need to get pulled out. So it's a one time, done that, finished, piles are looking amazing. And that's where the final thing comes that I want to speak about quickly. There's a good possibility that I'm going to be moving to the Western Cape. I'm not going to be revealing any names or any destinations exactly just yet. I still want to have a few conversations with the owners of the plot that I'm going to be staying on. But there's a good chance I'm going to move there and do exactly what I've done here at their farm. That's what they have asked me to do. So I'm not going to be here for very much longer and I don't want to have the garden being a high maintenance garden for my parents and for my sister that might want to do something here and there. So that's another reason why the black plastic is there. I don't know how long I'm going to be here for so I want to make the garden very very easy to manage and easy to run. Alright and with that being said that's going to be the end of today's video. Just a few things I wanted to speak about and just so that everyone understands a little bit better on the pine needle pods and why I've got plastic and all that there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you really enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Stay tuned. Beautiful content coming from the Western Cape. Have a wonderful day. Stay active in the garden and I'll see you guys in the next video.